Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, I hope you are having an amazing day. Today, we're going to be talking about something that I've had people ask me over and over, and it is, what is the difference between talk therapy, hypnosis, and meditation? So it's going to be an interesting talk, and I just wanted to share some tips of uh, what is meditation or mindfulness, uh, why would you do that? Um, versus talk therapy or versus hypnosis. By trade, I am a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant, and I've been doing this for the last 24 years. And through all this time, I have done uh, my own meditations, uh, I've done mindfulness, I have experienced uh, talk therapy. I have gone to a therapist many years ago, like way before I was doing the work that I do. And now, I not only I practice hypnosis and uh, do that on myself, like hypnotizing myself mm -hmm. and especially my gums in order for me to go and have root canal, which I've had eight root canals with absolutely no anesthesia, no topical. I do all my dental work with absolutely no topical or any needle uh, going into my body. And not because I have a fear of dentistry because, let me say this, after my high school, actually my last year in high school, I went for my ROP classes and learned how to be a dental assistant. So I've worked in a dental um, environment um, and know the procedures. So what I do, I use hypnosis, which is a very focused attention in order for me to bypass pain around my gums and not have any anesthesia. And it can be used not only for pain management, it's uh, hypnosis is very focused attention therapy. Now, let me give you just a small synopsis of each one, and then we compare them. Okay, so one of the things, it's even in my blog in lisabubari.com. You can go there, check my blog. I have many blogs, and one of the blogs that I just put recently is, what is the difference between talk therapy and hypnotherapy? They're both therapy. Um, and choosing the right therapy is always the best thing for you. Now, hypnotherapy is utilizing hypnosis while we're doing therapy. And hypnosis, as you know, it's a focused attention, taking you into a state of relaxation and bypassing, analyzing, judging, reasoning, and uh, uh, analyzing, judging, reasoning and criticizing factor of yours, which is the critical factor between our conscious mind and our subconscious mind. So when we bypass that part, we go from the conscious thinking part straight into the subconscious, which is the emotional part, which is what I call the blueprint of every action, reaction, emotion, feeling, uh, behavior, and habits that is stored in there. Everything, right? So for that, I want you to realize that hypnotherapy utilizes visualization techniques and mental imagery for you to bypass the critical factor, go into the subconscious, and with a focused attention, Let's say my client comes in for fear. We focus on the fear. Uh, I have a client that just came in a week ago because somehow out of nowhere in the last six, seven months ago, she developed fear of doors, opening doors. Okay. Not because, not because she had OCD. 
it became like an obsessive disorder, but only in the seven months. So creating this fear factor, understanding where this fear came from, where is the cause, and how we can bypass the critical factor to go to the subconscious, right? Which is evoking what was, understanding that, modifying it, editing the information, once we understand where and why the fear of opening doors comes, and then helping her to embrace that moment to evolve to the next level. That's the technique that I use. But everything is to bypass the critical factor to get into the subconscious. Now, what is talk therapy? And hypnosis and hypnotherapy that I do is very, the time is very much condensed versus traditional talk therapy, what we call behavioral talk therapy, which is another version, uh, another word for that. It's like AKA CBT. CBT is cognitive behavioral therapy and encompasses range of techniques that uh, psychologists use, um, MFTs use, and that's licensed marriage and family therapist um, that I take my hat off to them as well. Uh, they use that part and it's a conversation between the therapist and the client or their patient, mine are clients, uh, and their patient, and it takes a long time. Uh, it can take months or perhaps some of my clients who come to me, years okay um, for several issues maybe lifelong issues and that's why it takes so long uh, perhaps their sessions are one hour mine are uh, between 75 minutes to 90 minutes and we zone in we do 10 minutes of talk uh, and then we go straight into the aspect of hypnosis or doing the hypnotherapy part okay now when we compare those two um, both of them, or even mindfulness, uh, which I'm going to get to right now, is the approaches are different, and yet they're both to improve the mental and hypnotherapy is also mental and emotional uh, part uh, of the client. As I said, hypnosis and hypnotherapy, the duration is much uh, shorter and focusing on specific issues, whereas CBT is longer, perhaps lifelong issues. Now, when we come to uh, the hypnosis and mindfulness, I say when we do mindfulness and meditation, it is to sit in a quiet place hmm, and be mindful of how you feel on that moment it's a um, practice of daily practice uh, for a duration of the time perhaps a lot of people they do gratefulness journaling and then they do meditation allowing to sit quietly and allow information or just nothingness to download for them to have a sense of relaxation from the top of the head all the way down to their feet and they do this for about 10 to 30 minutes um, mindfulness meditation which a lot of people call loving kindness meditation or transcendental which is tm and we you do this practice to for 10 minutes 15 minutes 30 minutes and some they do it for an hour in the morning um, to set themselves for the day. Because when you quiet your mind and you allow all kinds of nothingness, you open yourself to the universe, you open yourself to messages from above, and you also quiet your mind so that you become one with your body. Okay. Again, this is absolutely wonderful because uh, it is a focused attention, controlling your breath work, 
and there is breath work for counts there is breath work for eight counts and what are those breath counts you do four counts in you hold for four counts and you exhale in four counts realizing I did all this while I was still holding my breath so again four counts in four counts hold four counts exhale see I also do uh, a lot of meditation work even with my sessions and I teach my clients so let's do this together four counts in four counts pause four counts exhale exhale now there is also another one which is called four counts in four counts pause eight counts exhale so you can also do eight counts in four counts pause eight counts exhale so let's do eight counts together right okay so beginners start with four counts pause for four counts exhale for four counts and when you get to a level that you can hold your breath and do and hold four three two one exhale eight counts out now realize when you begin always remember that any kind of a breath work it's not the shallow work it's always through the stomach it's abdominal so you exhale by inhale and exhale by pushing your abdominal muscles out that all the breath comes into your stomach and not the chest and when you exhale you empty the stomach and exhale out releasing it or the easiest one is one count in hold four counts one exhale one two three four okay which in meditation this practice that we do is maintaining a level of awareness and breath work and commonly used for releasing stress and becoming more aware of where you are and just focusing on your breath instead of focusing on issues problems anything that you are afraid or anxious about at that very moment which in practice what we call is a transference transferring your attention from what is to yourself yes becoming more aware of yourself your breath your body and becoming one with the moment now again hypnosis uses all breath work I use mindfulness I use breath work I use all the techniques to help and guide you into a state of deep relaxation for a purpose it's the purpose is the purpose that you come in for either opening doors you're having issues with that you no longer want to do that because you're afraid to open doors again it's fear when you feel overwhelmed and uh, are in having anxiety having obsessive negative thoughts you feel overwhelmed and you are anxious all the time you are smoking you want to become a non-smoker and or you are overweight and it's the emotional weight the things that has been eating at you it's not so much the food factor you can go to a nutritionist 
and you can go on a certain diet there's all kinds of apps nutritionists exercise people and yeah when you do all the yo-yo and everything and nothing still works there is an underlying pain factor trauma or a secret something that it's been eating at you without you realizing it that the subconscious mind has the answers is when you come to a hypnotherapist when you come to me we delve into that okay so there is no good reason for you to have fears there is no good reason for you to be anxious all the time one client came in and his anxiety was in the last three and a half years and why we develop this and I want you to know that fear factor is internal anxiety is internal it's not because of the outside forces or what happened those are triggers and often you for years later you can probably have this and talk therapy is wonderful CBT is great for your life but at that very moment when you are feeling anxious when you're in panic when you're in fear that is what hypnotherapy we delve in we go straight from your conscious mind straight to the subconscious the subconscious and opening the doors of the subconscious to bypass the critical analyzing factor in order for you to acknowledge what's happening once you acknowledge is up to you to keep it because you need it or to say thank you I no longer want this yes some people do keep do hold on to it and why because for whatever reason which we call a secondary benefit it is giving them the benefit and that once the client understands that even that is knowingly keeping it so now you understand there's talk therapy there is meditation and there is hypnotherapy or you utilizing the powers of hypnosis which is internal I teach all my clients self-hypnosis I give you your audio recording for you to have it and do self-hypnosis at home so you listen to that and you do this entire work on your own so you don't need to have you don't need to bring me to your home all the time my voice comes with you I give the ways to journal uh, I provide uh, daily affirmations I give all the tools and the techniques to my clients so that in a way they don't have to uh, be um, not only in the mercy but to have that as an anchor as uh, being enabled but they able themselves and they can do this you can do this at all times in the privacy of your home or anywhere so the only thing I tell all my clients make sure you're not using hypnosis while operating machinery or driving because when you're in that state you are not quite aware of everything else although you are awake and you can hear everything so it's the best high it's a natural high that you can have that's it I hope uh, this was beneficial to you and you can have the differences in knowing that uh, those seeking rapid focused intervention for specific issues uh, you can benefit from hypnotherapy and by all means I do offer a uh, complimentary consultation for 15 minutes you can book me at ihealwithin.com just go to the calendar book yourself uh, if you like this session if you uh, enjoyed this I'm doing this mini talks more than instead of half an hour or longer by all means like share and thank you to all of you who are referring clients and are the biggest testimonial for everything that I do and until next week I bid you goodbye have an amazing day God bless you and may the universal light surround you always
Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here.